Hey, you all. I just wanted to um, mention this um, before the New Year's over. This is something that I want to talk about actually today. And I was going to talk about this this afternoon, but when the news broke out about TV legend Betty White, and I was like really stunned about that. I pretty much was, you know, trying to figure out so many ways, like, how can I do this commentary? Because I wasn't prepared. No, none of us was prepared for that news. This person that I'm going to speak about was someone who I met in 2014 when I was studying to be a paralegal. But I knew of her going back to 2012. And this woman taught me game, not just like well with the industry, but with the cult sciences, how to navigate the world when it's dealing with, you know, secret societies, and also how to spot evil. But also turning your life back over to God and really living for Christ. And that person is a, a woman who was an, I feel, an iconic YouTuber named Rebecca Scott. Now, you all, like I knew her as Hollyhood. And I happened to meet her two years after I first watched her videos. And I met her by happenstance. I was in the elevator of my college TCI and this was on a Wednesday club day and I happened to be going up um, downstairs in the concourse which is like the lower level and this woman gets on the elevator and she has on a white coat and she has on her hair is brown like like honey blonde and I'm like, oh my God, that is Hollywood. So I said, excuse me, hi. And she was like, hello. I said, you're Hollywood. And she said, I certainly am. And I said, hi. I told her my name. I told her, I said, I watch your videos all the time. I love your content. And I would say she was a favorite YouTuber of mine. You know, I always rep for Lovely T. But, and Lovely T was on YouTube for years. And I don't want to make this about her, but. To me, Hollywood was one of the first people to change the game of YouTube because she talked about an industry that she was well versed in. And she told you about the puppets, the pawns. She told you about the Illuminati. But she also told you about the criminal life that she led and how she went to jail for 10 years. And she also told you how she survived prison. She also told you how she turned her life around to God. And she also exposed the Robert Durst stealing. And that was to me like real creepy. Like when she mentioned that. Um, I'll go over to talk about that some other time. But going back to the day I met Hollywood, I should do a story time with that. I met her by fluke, and she was saying, you know, I'm doing a conference. And I'm going to be host, I'm going to be speaker of conference of women in hip hop. And I got invited to the conference that I didn't know anything about. And it was one of the best experiences ever. Learning about how to survive the music industry as a woman and particularly as a black woman. But she did speak about the Illuminati. She did speak about pawns in the game, sacrifices, the evils. And I ended up actually buying her book and I read it from front to back cover and when I tell you that I was always watching her videos and I had subscribed to her and I know for a fact YouTube was playing the channel because I was not subscribed to her like I was removed from her subscribers. 
And then I had to resubscribe. So there is something to that. But I would just calm. I would just, you know, watch video after video and even re-watch the videos. And, you know, this was when content was simple to make. But the message was just so profound. And I remember when Hollywood talked about the African Mambada scandal. And she said, I think they're lying. And she was the first one to say it when no one said it, when it wasn't popular. She said, I think they're lying. I think that they're doing this because they want something. And that was her friend. Now, I didn't agree with that. But, you know, we see kind of how everything has kind of played out. And, you know, it's just a damn shame. But Rebecca Scott, through the years, was always talking about, like, the health issues that she had went through. You know, she was trying to get her daughter out of the gang. Also, she was going through housing issues. And she was a survivor. She was a fighter. And I noticed that around 2018, 2019, she wasn't really uploading as much. And she was always letting people know, you know, I might not be here to, like, put out content. So it was like she was always preparing for people to just be aware that I'm not going to be doing this for too long. And in 2020, I will say, she was really going hard, really giving out, like, the, the videos and turning them out. But the last one she did was the reasons why I will not vote for Trump. That's the very last video because she was adamant. She was like, I'm not doing it. She said, I will not. She said, I didn't do it in 2016. I'm not going to do it in 2020. And it was the last video she ever made. And I thought that was sad because I know... That she had more content, so many things. But she was also a writer. And her books were sellers. The book that I bought, Hip Hop Illuminati. I mean, her research was profound. Independent publisher. Author of about over 20 books. And on Amazon, they were bestsellers. Her research was phenomenal. And she never got to 100K in her lifetime. And they were, and she said YouTube was suppressing her views and her subscribers. Because she was telling the truth. And she would always end with a prayer in her videos. And I remember like there would be times when I would feel down. And I was, you know, like kind of angry. Because I'm like, you know, I did everything right. And I'm like, why am I not getting the jobs I should be getting? And, you know, I met her at the college and I was just getting ready to graduate from the paralegal program and I would just watch her videos and it's like she would basically take away you know she would basically make you feel good about just being you and always like reminding you that you're a child of Christ and I mean and she wasn't a bible thumper she was sincere with it she wasn't like a lot of these people that you see advertisement and she talked about a lot of Christians. She talked about the Christian frauds here for us here and there. But she was just, in my opinion, the one that I feel changed the game. Because she came out before the T channel. See, there was a time when there weren't any T channels. There was just people that would just vlog. The T channels come about really in Really, the person that did it, I don't, it was Lovey T. She was the one that originated it. I had to take a break. I had to drink something. She was the one that originated it. And people followed suit. And that was the beginning of the channels that spoke about the Illuminati. And the New World Order, they were starting to get suppressed because it was the rise of the T channels. And then you had the beef sector, and you had all these like sectors that I feel are kind of, you know, changing the game with YouTube is what it is. It's, you know, driven content. But the information that Hollywood put out was just phenomenal. And she set the blueprint, in my opinion. And I'm happy I got to meet her that one time, and it was pleasant. And 
I even took a photo of her. One day I'm gonna, one day I'm gonna find a photo on my page, on, on my Facebook page, and I'm gonna post it. And you know, I've kept saying, why isn't she posting anything? And I was just like, oh my god, hopefully she didn't get COVID. And then earlier this year, a person who knew her said that she passed away in 2020. So I found out a couple of months ago through um, another YouTuber, a heavily flawed individual. So I just want to give not just my condolences, but I want to celebrate Rebecca Hollyhood Scott. I think she's one of the greatest YouTubers of all time. And I don't think anyone will match her. You know, and when I created my channel, I wanted to do content like that. But I didn't have the whereabout and equipment to do it. And then I saw the suppression of it. But I've been really considering doing the exposés of, you know, different, you know, society, not societies, but different situations, history moments and, you know, in time, um, things in the black community, you know, hidden secrets, <laughs> things of that nature, because that legacy has got to be continued. And I just want to say thank you, Rebecca Scott, Holly, Hollywood. I mean, you, 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 you brought game and you taught me game and so many other women and even men. And because of people like you, I would say Professor Griff, I would say um, other people that's not even on YouTube, but blog, Prince Ray from the Bay, Black Panther, um, I would say Baba Hassan. I mean, all these elders. I, it's, you are you are all the reason why I can go outside the world and see chaos, and I'm kind of unfazed because I know and I prepared myself with your lessons, with the information that you gave, that I could sit in a room and be calm, knowing that I may lose a lot of stuff because my rights are fringed upon, but I don't get caught up in the drama. Because I know how to navigate the game that's being placed before me. And I know how to beat it. And, I'm, and I will win. And I will say that I know that you are in heaven. And I know that you will always be a teacher. Because your lessons are always going to be on the internet. And you will always live on through your teachings. Thank you, Rebecca Scott. AKA Hollywood.